Wilson. Field getting organized. Up out of your seat and up on your feet. Stand and wave and make some noise on All Stars Saturday night. It is late model showtime. Be one lap from green, 100 laps. Jake Guiley, the track champion a few years ago here at Rockford Speedway. He was ran well in his limited super late model starts. But the legend, Rich Bickle, to his inside on the pole. 22 cars, 100 laps. The 26th All-Star 100 is coming to green. Jake Guiley with the jump on Rich Bickle. Bickle doesn't get a real good start on the bottom side. Brad Casa tried to get in line. Boy, they bump in. Hitch and Giddy up in three and four. Bickle the second ahead of Costow. In fourth spot, the seven of Johnny DeAngelis. Reynolds and Schaefer quickly at fifth. Man, they are ripping around right now. Jake Kiley, your leader. Costow on Bickle. DeAngelis fourth. Reynolds falling on the bottom. So is Quapple, so is Beal. And Casey Johnson on the move in the 47. Costow on second from Bickle. Bickle might be riding for a little bit. Reynolds going to get in line behind Austin Nason if he can, but here comes Carson Quapple. That swings in line. Quapple to the inside of Reynolds for position. That on the fringe of the top 10. Nason going at it for position into turn at number three to the inside of James Swan. Up the hill goes Guiley. Trouble for Jake Guiley. Bickle inherits the lead. Jake Guiley's rear end is back. Side to side, Panhard Bar perhaps breaking on that car. And around goes Tillman and Rubeck gets into Guiley and a caution is out. Baker involved as well. Boy, they didn't quite get out of the way, so to speak. Or someone didn't quite do the job and Ricky Baker's car is destroyed as he drives it around a track. Right front, toast. Back end, toast. Rubeck out already. Jake Guiley gone. Kurt Tillman involved driving away. Five laps in, and the caution is out. Wayne Freeman's car up in smoke on the inside of turn number two. Ninety-five long laps to go, the All-Star 100. Rich Bickle will set the pace from the outside. Bickle gets away off into the corner. Casal up the track. Here, DeAngelis get tight into three. Calamity corner, they make it through. Casal backing up, stacks him up back through the field. DeAngelis going after Richie Bickle for the race lead. Paulie Schaefer wants third. Here comes Austin Nason. Nason looks for fourth to the outside of Casal. Bringing the 47 of Casey Johnson along for the ride. Bickle extends his lead by a couple car lengths. Casal stuck on the bottom. Nason wants third. He's all over Pauly Schaefer. Now Quapo going after the 12 car of Casal. Nason to the inside of Schaefer for third. Side by side, Austin Nason and Polly Schaefer near the wall. Going at it. Casey Johnson right there in the 47. Austin Nason will look for third. He's three quarters of the way ahead of Schaefer. DeAngelis closing on Bickle for the lead. Top five trying to get away. Merrill in sixth spot. And it's Casau in seventh. Guapo in eighth. Swan in ninth. Reynolds trying to stay ahead of Mondike for tenth. Top nine, bumper to bumper. Nason on second. Working on DeAngelis, they bump out of turn two. Oh, they race hard into turn three, they touch. Tommy White gives them the one-two from the starter stand. Casey 
and it DeAngelis meet it two. They go into three, they touch and they rub. Mason to second, here comes Casey Johnson. He might take second. Look at Casey Johnson. Takes advantage, takes second. Schaefer wants third, you gotta wonder if Mason brews that car up just a little bit. They go at it down for third. Mason settles back in. Goes back after Casey Johnson. Rich Pickle, your leader. Pickle with a nice four or five car length advantage. And fifth is DeAngelis, under siege from Ryan Farrell. Got to warn it, DeAngelis, left front damage on a seven car. Heavy left front damage on Johnny DeAngelis in the seven car. After that hard contact with Austin Mason. How long could he hold on before something expires on that black seven car? Casey Johnson catching Rich Bickle for the lead as they click him off. Still a long way to go though in the All-Star 100. A close up on Andrew Blocker in the 13 and a lap him by turn four. Casey Johnson a honking on a horn and flashing the lights. Going after Rich Bickle for the lead. Mason on, Johnson gets the boat. Austin Mason's got a fast car. He told us that early tonight. Here comes Schaefer in the white seven. Darrell going for fifth to the inside of Johnny D in turn one. Top four have gotten away. Top three have separated from fourth. Run for Brad Passau in seventh. Trying to work on Darrell, who's working on the Angels. Three cars in three different groups for the lead. Down the back straightaway. 20 scored, 80 to go. Richie Bickle leading the way. Mason with a scarred right side. Yellow's out. Trouble. It's Farrell. Ryan Farrell cuffs the wall and big issues. Big fire on, oh my goodness, Ryan Farrell's car in a shower of flames. He'll go to the infield to the attention now of the safety team. Wow, what a spectacular looking burn up for Ryan Farrell who is challenging for the fifth position with John DeAngelis Jr. And all holy heck just broke loose in the last 10 laps. Rich Bickle and Casey Johnson, the first double row that'll bring him back. Good start up front. Bickle wiggles in, opens the door for Casey Johnson. Pass hour on contact with Asen. He's on the infield. We might play on. Green Pride still out. Now the caution's out. I don't know that the caution was going to fly there, and I think you could kind of see everything that I saw. I think we did get a lap in. Brad Kossow and Austin Nason got close and they kind of found each other, just that happens. Nobody really took each other out there. Kossow just kind of got into him and got around. Here we go. 80 to go in the All-Star 100. Good start by Bickle. Side by side, Nason to third. Reynolds trying to slip in line to fourth, but Schaefer is there. Three car battle for the race lead. Johnson hanging in on the bottom side of Bickle. Shape the fourth. Now Quapple and Reynolds will go at it for fifth. DeAngelis back a couple laps down. Johnson sideways holds on. Bickle back to the lead. Mason in the second. Reynolds and Quapple for fifth. Swan sideways. Beal hopped him and they keep going for now. They both might be in trouble. Left rear of Swan, right in front of Beal. Mason going after Bickle for the lead. He's got the fastest car. Can he make it happen? How's he going to treat Rich Bickle? To the inside. For the lead, even up. Bickle not going to hold on. Or is he? Look at that. Hanging it up top. They slide in the corner. Hey, Bickle's still your leader. Mason right there, didn't take the lead at the line, but now he may in turn number two. 
Austin Nason to the lead. Johnson trying to get back there now. Carson Quapo in fifth all the way in at 35. He's got a good racing card as Carson Quapo. Got getting around ahead of him, a quarter of the way plus, now through the All-Star 100. Austin Nason is your leader, going for two in a row. Austin Mondike has went from deep in the field, working on the back bumper at John Reynolds Jr. for sixth. Johnson all over Bickle now for second spot, so a long way to go. Here comes Casey Johnson. Tires smoke off the Angeles' is seven car. 15 of Gabe Summers back to the pit area. Rough night for Gabe Summers. There goes Casey Johnson for a look for second. Pickle up high. Oh, they got the gear. Johnson trying to hold on. Schaefer goes after him. Johnson settles back in line. That car drifted a little bit on Casey Johnson. 70 laps to go. Austin Nason at the head of the pack. Trying to lap Johnny DeAngelis. Remember these two? Mason gets around DeAngelis. Finally. 32 scored, 68 to go. Johnson again looking for second. I'll have to get around DeAngelis first. Get around him, they do. Second through fifth, pretty close. Austin Nason setting the pace, started 11th and wasted no time. Lap around Brocker. Johnson right on Bickle, takes the dive as Bickle wanders. Here comes Casey Johnson again. Nason stretching the lead, perhaps more so because Johnson and Bickle are battling. have settled down through the field. 15 laps of green. Austin Nason has taken the lead of this All-Star 100. Here's Johnson on the back end of Bickle again, trying to make it happen. A lot of clean track for the leaders for a few laps here. Brocker trying to hang on. They'll catch him every so often. Schaefer closing up on Johnson for third. Who will fiddle and fidget? Who will make the move first? Mason's got a consistent four and a half car length lead as we get closer to halfway. Here goes Johnson again for second spot. Pickle holds on. Pickle. Con conversely, it's not lost much ground on Austin Mason. But he's not gaining much either. And he's got Casey Johnson all over him, who just wants to get by. Nine laps from halfway with Austin Nason steadily ahead in the car corner, All-Star 100. They're coming up on Andrew Brocker again. Brocker gets way low for him this time. Nickel gets low this time to protect. Austin Nason's off the pace. The leader's off the pace. Rich Nickel is your leader. 43 scores. Holy cow. Mason grinding to a halt. He pulls it to the infield. Rich Nickel's back in the lead. And now Casey Johnson wants it. And we got a new race. Mason's car not budging. Reynolds off the pace. Reynolds to the infield quickly. He's done. They continue to fall by the wayside, and Richie Bickle is your leader. Now the caution's out. Can't get Austin Mason's car off the track any further. Oh, my goodness. Rich Bickle and Casey Johnson. The game has changed at halfway. Coming back to green. Schaefer off the wall. Paul 
Riley Schaefer came hot off a of turn four and killed the wall. Pauly Schaefer in that seven came off a of turn four and that thing just wouldn't quite turn. And he just killed the wall off a of turn four. A hungry driver at the front of the field. We'll pull the strings on him. Six from halfway, 56 from the end. If we can get there, back to green. Good start for Bickle, he goes up the hill. Guapo will go after Max Kaler for fourth. Max Kaler is in fourth. Smoke from Kaler's car as he goes to the corner. DeAngelis finds the wall. Kaler sideways on the back stretch and he yellows out. Well, something happened to Max Kaler's car as he went into turn one. He wiggled into turn one. I saw him wiggle in high and he just kind of continued and caught the wall. Casau hits the wall. Johnny DeAngelis found the wall. He's able to get off the track. Casau's going to get back to the infield, get going. Kaler's car, can he get it going or he may need at least a push and maybe a hook. He's got it turned to maybe fire it back up. Sparks from Mondike's car though, this may not go well. Coming back to green. Quapo for the lead on Bickle. Carson Quapo and Rich Bickle side by side. New leader, Carson Quapo. Bickle on the outside. Trying to wriggle her back in. What a good start for Carson Quapple. He is your leader. Bickle almost ran on her own. They race hard. Just a couple of marks on those cars. Johnson already in fourth, chasing Johnny Beal for third. Bickle edging back to the lead. Rich Bickle back to the lead. He and Quapple racing hard up front. Beal and Johnson might be catching up just a little bit up front. Casau rounds out the top five. Carson Quapa wearing out Rich Bickle. Can Bickle hold on? It'll finally be halfway when they get back, if they get back. 50 scored, 50 to go, halfway home for Rich Bickle. Casey Johnson in third. Quapple right there on Bickles. They try and break away. Here comes Casey Johnson at a 47. Casey Johnson like a house on fire. Closing up on the leaders. The second half of this race goes and Casey Johnson goes with it. On the back end of Carson Quapple. Deal and toss out right there. The top five at rock step. Johnson gonna work over Carson Quapple. Back is Austin Nason, a few laps down, trying for those valuable points. He came in as the point leader. Several cars returning to the fray. Top three real close at three and four. Johnson peaks low. Quapple hadn't given up on Bickle. Top five, five of the six lead lap cars into turn three. On the bumper, Quapple for the lead on Rich Bickle. And Johnson right there, who's gonna flinch? Johnson to the bottom of Quapple. Quapple on a bumper of Bickle. Bickle hops in a corner, Quapple hops on a bumper. Austin Nason settled in. He's got a fast car, but he's several laps down. Quapo looks to the inside for the lead. And now Casey Johnson to the outside of Carson Quapo for second spot. Casey Johnson in the second. He's chasing Rich Bickle. Look at Casey Johnson. He's looking for the lead on Bickle out of turn four. 41 to go. He's got the fastest car on a track. Can he make it happen? 
Beal is closing on the leaders in the five. It's hard sledding on the bottom. Johnson back in line to lap around Brock. Brock will still hadn't given up in the 35. Top four and lock step down to back shoot. Johnson now with a lot of open track to try and make a move on Rich Bickle. To the bottom again for the lead goes Casey Johnson. Wapp will get a sneak to the outside of Johnson. Johnson slams that door. Protect second while going after the leader, Rich Pickle. 38 to go in the All-Star 100. Rich Pickle making that car good and steady and nice and wide. Casey Johnson is right there. Oh, that was top three. Bumper to bumper, real close into the corner. Quapple kicks Johnson sideways. If anybody slips, Johnny Beal is there for the lead out of four. Bickle holds it, Johnson on a bumper, and Bickle gets him loose for the lead. Side by side, coming up on Brocker. Got to make the move quick. Casey Johnson leads the All-Star 100. Pop will get to go after Bickle. Bickle trying to get to Johnson, but Casey Johnson pulls away. And now Quapo goes after Bickle for second. Closing up on 30 to go. KC Johnson in the Valley Gasket 47. Pull it away. Jim Olson spins. Puts it in reverse to get out of the way. Good move by Jim Olson. He got out of the way, so we will stay green. Bickle back on Johnson for the lead. Richie Bickle settling back in. Trying to get back to Casey Johnson, closing in on 30 laps to go. Bickle settling in now, he's got something to chase. Coming up on Kaler, Olsen back out, right near the leaders in turn three and four. Johnson gets back away from Bickle. Flicking him off now. Pass out, catching Johnny Beal for fourth. Coming up on is heavy lap traffic as they have all night. 30 laps and counting to go for Edgerton's Casey Johnson. Try and put his name in the history books. He and Bickle getting away. Quapple settling into third to lap around Max Taylor. Just five cars on the lead lap. Pass out fifth, Beal in fourth. Quapple third, Bickle second. Casey Johnson is your leader. Twenty-five laps to go for Casey Johnson. Pull it away from Rich Bickle. Carson Klopp will get to work on Rich Bickle for second spot. Here he goes. Second spot going to turn three. Klopp will take some peek to the inside. Good and low. Bickle gives him room. Bickle holds second. Johnny Beal in on that battle too. Second, third, and fourth real close. This race getting along in the tooth. Quapple making another move. He's right there on Bickle's bumper as they go to three. Johnny Beal trying to sneak to the outside to third. Holy cow. Coming up on 20 to go. Bickle protecting a little bit lower every time. Quapple takes another peak for second spot. Carson Quapple on a bumper of Bickle. Helps him into the corner. Can't get there. Bickle holds the line good and steady. 80 scored, 20 to go for Casey Johnson. Field to the bottom of Quapple for third. So trouble in turn four, the caution is out. Jim Olson brings out the caution flag and he backs it into the infield wall for good measure with 20 laps to go.
Jones, who fell by the wayside in this hour plus marathon with three red flags. Johnson brings him, 20 to go. Waffle is right there on Bickle. Bickle trying to stay with Johnson. Gossow going after Beal for fourth. Quapple going to work on Bickle. Casey Johnson gets away. 19 to go. Quapple for second. Carson Quapple is there in turn one. Side by side for second. Quapple halfway there on Bickle. They touch a little bit in turn three. Even up for the runner up spot. Carson Quapple getting close. Not close enough. Bickle still holding on to second spot. On the back end of Bickle, Beal in fourth. Beal wants third, here comes Johnny Beal. Beal on Quapple. Pass out right there in fifth. A sweet 16 laps to go for Casey Johnson. Fifteen to go for the 47 of Casey Johnson, who's pulling away in this All-Star 100. The battle is for second with Rich Pickle trying to hold off Carson Quapple. The lap around Blocker again. Quapple we'll on Bickle. He's gonna race him hard, but those guys kind of know in the long, grand scheme of things, they stay where they are, they'll be all right. Heading to Wausau in about a month. Quapple again to the inside for second. That's fast car if he can get free. But he's running out of time. Straight away lead for Casey Johnson. Quapple massages the back end of Bickle's 45. They have pulled away from John Beal. Oh, Quapple gives a little rub to Bickle. A little bump and run. A little smoke from one of those cars. Is it Bickle? They're side by side again. Look at Bickle run hard. Quapple the second. Beal! Oh, look out! Bickle in trouble. Oh, Beal off the billboard. And a caution is out with 10 to go. Bickle may be able to drive away. Hand out the window, not too happy, heading up to see John Beal. DeAngelis. In there now, 11 to go. It's all on Casey Johnson and Carson Quapple. They'll try and decide it. Good start for Carson Quapple all over Casey Johnson. Casau settles into third. Carson Quapple gonna look for the lead. Can he wrestle it away? 10 to go, 10 to go in the All-Star 100. Taylor in fourth, DeAngelis fifth a lap down. Johnson trying to hold off, Quapple, who's real steady. Johnson kind of wanders out of the corner, he wanders again. Quapple right there. Those two pulling away, they'll decide it amongst themselves. Here comes Quapple, eight to go. The kid Carson Quapple on the back end to Casey Johnson for the lead. Seven to go this time. He gives him the boot. Johnson gets away. Young and hungry. Carson Quapple. Two great young racers going at it. Casey Johnson trying to hold up. A late, hard charging Carson Quapple. Five to go when they get back. Quapple in the back pocket of Casey Johnson. Here he comes again. Five to go. He's there. He's turning it down into two. They'll catch Brocker. That should be the last lapper for the lead duo. Four to go. Here comes the kid. Johnson, though, so steady. So steady. It's going to take a slip from Johnson for Quaffle to make the move. Three to go. He's there again. Trying to hold on is Casey Johnson. Quapple's got his chance. Johnson good enough to get out of the corner. Two laps to go in the All-Star 100 and two cars will try and decide it.
Johnson going to the whip, giving it everything he can. He's gotten away by a car length on Carson Quaffle. Koshow all alone in third. Tommy White's got the white flag in hand. He'll put it on Casey Johnson and Carson Quaffle, and he'll try and figure it out. Car length for Johnson, unless he wiggles. He should have it. Quaffle right in his back pocket. Coming around, Casey Johnson is going to win his first All-Star 100. And a Carson Quaffle, Brad Koshow, a career bester. Max Kaler will come home in fourth spot. John DeAngelis Jr., a lap off the pace, will come home in fifth. The most incredibly zany All-Star 100 I have ever seen has wrapped up.